Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Unleashing the magic of e-commerce in Webly Join me as we navigate the steps to create a fully fledged online store in 2024 From product showcases to seamless transactions, we've got it covered Ready to transform your Webly website into a thriving e-commerce hub? Let's dive and make it happen so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this specific video, we're going to talk about e-commerce in Webly in general. We're going to cover the pages that you will need, the products, and even the categories. We're going to go through all of that. And finally, we're going to finish this video with adding a payment getaway to your e-commerce website. So the first thing to do is to simply head up to edit sites, as you can see here. And you will be able to edit your site after you click on edit on the top right corner. Here you will be able to see this page where you're going to be able to edit your website. So the first thing that normally I would do is to remove every single web page that I have. So here we go. I'm going to remove all of them. Uh, it can be a little bit long process, but it doesn't really matter for now. We can just delete everything. Here we go. Delete. Delete. And after that, what we are going to aim for is to create a page for the e-commerce website we are going to create a page for the uh, actual product that we are going to sell so there we go we have here home page so I'm going to click on add and here I'm going to create a product page so here um, I have this product page so I'm going to name it for example iPad since I have already a product here as you can see and visibility I'm going to leave it visible and as you can see this is the description of it and yeah here we can see the variations so as you can see here and here the quantity so i'm gonna leave it as it is for now and this is basically one of many ways to create a product page there is also this is like one page product i'm going to show you now how to make multiple product page so simply all you need to do is to do the same thing but now instead of going to page and creating a product page let's simply create a standard page and here let's name it for example uh like commerce here we go as you can see here and what I'm gonna do is to add the section within this section I'm going to add like anything featured here we go anything that can come to my mind we can add it save and basically now I'm just gonna start uh, removing everything so click here remove click here delete delete and delete let's delete everything as you can see here well this is the problem with Webly it has a very very long uh, process stuff to actually remove stuff from your website you can't really add a section which is empty but you have to add an already made section by them and then start to remove every single thing from it and make it blank again so yeah this is what I really really find annoying in this website so now go to build and what I'm going to look for is products so here we go we have here the product so I'm going to drag it and paste it right here after we did that now the products are going to be added here I'm going to add the product that I want so add products and basically here this page will allow us to actually create products in our Webly website so here what I'm going to do is to simply put the item uh, or what's the item <laughs> I don't know what I said but yeah here the item title here the price and the sale price here description of it here you should add an image for the products here the visibility there is three options either visible so it can be for everyone visible either hidden but people would link can actually get to that page and buy and avail unavailable which is basically uh, hidden from everyone even though uh, those who have the link of the product directly they can't really see it so you can choose one of them here how you want your shoppers to be received so you want them to receive it as a shipping so you want to ship it to them or them coming to you which is basically a pickup here in case it was a shipping you have to add this information which are shipping weight in case it was a pickup you should add the address where they must go to pick it up here we have additional information if you would like to add an item id or SKU, you you have to do so if you want to track stock on this item here you should simply add how much uh, items you do have in the stock 
block so each time someone puts an order and it gets accepted it will be minus one and so there will be no longer an item in stock so they can stop people from buying it when it's not in the stock here the cost of the SKU in case and here finally we have the options and pricing in the options and pricing basically I'm gonna uh, like explain it to you as simple as possible when you're looking for an iPhone 15 so here we go we have iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 as you can see there is variations there is colors pink yellow green blue black and there is also the most expensive colors which are basically these ones there is the titanium there is the dark blue there is the gold and the uh, I think the titanium or platinum one so each one of these color is actually more expensive than the other that's not it when you try to get an iPhone there is variations there is iPhone there's iPhone Plus iPhone Max iPhone Pro Max so each variation has its own price this is what this options and pricing for here you could simply just add a variation it's it doesn't matter what variation it is it could be a color uh, it could be um, the size it could be whatever you add it here you add the price so the price will varies depending on what category they have chosen here you should add the category of your product for example I'm selling iPhones I'm going to add it to the category of technology or phones or mobile phones or Apple depending on the categories that you have in your website and finally here we have the search engine optimization just to higher your ranking in the search engine you have to work on this specific uh, thing by your own to develop it by your own when you finish with all of that, you have to work on your payments getaways. So to have your payments getaways, simply just head up to your overview, as you can see here, and then go to settings, and go to checkout, and here you will be able to see every single payments getaway that the uh, Webly has. The first payment getaway, which is totally for free, it is Stripe. In case you were in US and you were a citizen of US, then Stripe is the best go for for you. It is totally free and it will not cost you anything. There is also PayPal. This PayPal is not for the free websites. If you do have a free website, then you have to upgrade your plan to a premium plan to actually get the access to PayPal. PayPal will have some fees according to the amount of uh, price that you are putting in your uh, like basically your products they will take 3.49 percent plus 49 cents fixed per, per transaction customers pay with their paypal accounts or their credit card through paypal and increases by an average of 18 percent and finally the risk square so depending what you'd like the most you can go for it and yeah guys these are the fundamentals of creating your e-commerce website on webly so guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and thank you guys a lot for watching